Hello and welcome to the 11th video in the File Systems video tutorial series. My name is David Thorne, I'm from Thorne Web Design. Um, now in the previous video uh, we talked about how um, to use FSeq and FTEL and basically um, move the cursor backwards and forwards and then overwrite different data at, at different bytes and so on. So we, we kind of talked about these byte things. Now if you didn't know what bytes were, um, the I think this one video will start giving you a better idea after watching the previous one. Okay, so if you do know about binary, then you're definitely going to know about bytes. Um, anyway, but that's not what we come here to talk about. Um, in this one, we're going to be talking about um, reading single characters from a file using f get c. Okay, and naturally, we're going to um, open the file handle using f open with the mode this time of r. Now, just to give you an overview of um, what actually R means, it's um, you can see here on the F open manual, R equals open for reading only. Place the file pointer at the beginning of the file. Okay, which is what we want. We want it to go right to the beginning of the file, and then we, we're going to read character by character. In other words, byte by byte. Okay. Now, a character is a byte. All right. So. That's what you need to know for the time being. When we talk about programmatically, a letter, be it from A to Z, uh, 0 to 9, um, the uh, brackets, equal sign, apostrophe, whatever, they're all single bytes. All right, one byte. So a single character equals one byte, which could be called also a char. A char is uh, equ uh, equates also to one byte, technically. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to be reading from the fopen.txt, and as discussed before, um, we've just been using then the characters one through to nine. So that's what we're going to be reading. Um, so we're going to say if file exists, path, and because I only want to read from it if it actually exists. Now we then want to then have our file pointer, so we'll make the variable of fp equals, and then we'll call then the fopen function which is going to return us the file handle and the first argument as you now know is the file path and then the second argument is the mode that we're going to be using now in this one we're going to be using the single letter R okay the lowercase R as just discussed is open the file for read and set the file pointer back to the beginning okay this will return a file handle we will check if this file handle is true okay so it is a file handle and if it is we're going to close the file handle straight away because we're good programmers and then we're going to execute our code. So now that we have an open file handle what we want to be able to do is read it byte by byte, character by character, char by char, okay, whatever you want to call it. So um, as we loop round we want to then be able to then read each char. Now as you've seen up here we're going to use f get c and that takes one argument of the file pointer which is what was returned from f open now this will just read from the beginning of the file one byte and then it will return that as a string okay to then um, whatever we use the variable at so we're going to say char equals f get c and we're going to pass in then the file pointer okay now this effectively will just read the first char from um, the file so we just echo out um, char equals char and put a break there for no reason and then we output this file you see here that char 1 okay which is obviously then the first byte the first char that's in the file right well that's no good because we want to keep looping around every single char we don't know how big the file is yet because I haven't shown you about reading how big the file is so we don't quite know where the end of the file is oh end of file well that could come in handy um, later knowing end of file well there is a programmatic way of knowing this but for the time being we're just going to say that um, f get c is going to return false if it doesn't find any more characters now if it doesn't find any more characters then it must have been at the end of the file therefore false will do for us so we're going to say char if it is not equal to um, false therefore we're not saying if it's if it's not equal to false this way okay because uh, it could return zero okay this character could be zero and as we know zero 
um, equates to false as well, technically, and 1 equates to true, or anything that's non-zero equates to true. So we need to know that it's of type Boolean, and it equates to false. Therefore, we have to use then the double equal sign. Now, in this case, we're saying if it's not equal to false, then it must be something that we can output, and it's not the end of file. So we're going to then output char equals char, and we're going to just go to a new line because I want you to see that we've you've, we've read char by char and not the whole line. All right. Now, what we will do as well is we'll just make it a variable of x and we'll set it equal to zero. And um, uh, now we we'll just set it to one actually, so it's not so um, confusing. And we'll just say char x, so it's the first char. And then what we'll do is every single time we loop round we'll just say x plus equal 1 to then increment it um, to show which how many times we've been through the loop so far. Now well once we've done that we need to keep calling fgetc so it keeps going and going and going until it reaches the end of file and then char will be equal to false. Therefore we need to copy this once again and update char. All right, because we're updating char here, it's getting to the bottom of the, the block, it's going back to the top again, and it's checking if char is not equal to false. And then it will keep executing the code as long as this equates to true. Okay? Alright, so that's basically it for the time being, and when it does reach the end of the file, it will be false. So that will then stop the loop, and it will continue on and close the file. Alright? So we can then put down here, echo, we have reached the end of uh, file, done, okay, that's it. Right, let's go to the browser, let's re-execute our code, and as you can see here, char number 1 equals 1, char 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 7 8, 8, 9, 9, and char 10. Remember I said that we had this kind of magic char that's there, right, which there was 10 bytes in the file, and essentially there was nothing in it, it was this magic char. So we didn't reach e anything at all, alright? Now, for the time being in this tutorial, we're not going to talk about it, we're just going to say fine. But what we could do is we could say if not empty, yeah, and then say char, so we're saying it's got to be something. Um, then we're going to echo out char. We're going to increment uh, x anyway. And then we'll get a bit of a cleaner read. And let's refresh this. Okay, we, so we still get something. So they're there to show you that it's, it's uh, not empty. So there is something in it. All right. So it just goes to show you that it's not displaying, but there is something in it, all right? Well, we're still going to um, jump over this completely, um, but that's how you read it char by char. Now, what we could do is rather than saying x equals uh, this, we can then say x equals 0 at the top. And remember we used this ftel, so we could then say x equals ftel, to say at which point the cursor is at the moment, all right? And that's what we'll um, echo out instead. So let's refresh this and show you. It's still the same. So the, the, the pointer is uh, um, at byte 1 at the moment, at byte 2, at byte 3, at byte 4, and, and stuff like that. So as we're going through, um, we're, we're echoing it out, all right? Now, um, essentially, yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, um, it's very, very simple. That was um, F get C, all right, which just keeps on going until we reach the end of file, okay? Um, I don't think there's anything else. We'll keep going with this reading because there's lots of other methods of reading files, and this doesn't mean to say this is the best way. I just wanted you to understand reading byte by byte, char by char, character by character, um, and so on, okay? I hope this hasn't been too confusing. I hope you've learned something. Um, it's Like I said, it's not essentially the best way to do it. If you want to read char by char, then this is the way that you need to do it. Um, otherwise, there's other ways of doing it far easier.
okay all right thank you very much for watching um, my name is David Thorne from Thorne Web Design um, if you like the um, the playlist and so on the channel subscribe if you like the video um, thumbs up if you're on YouTube like if you're on Facebook um, share if you're on Twitter or anything else I really appreciate your support it's fantastic um, and I'm so happy that I have such a loyal fan base um, and please keep it up because I really enjoy uh, making these videos for you and I hope they're helpful okay thank you very much um, and I'll see you in the next video